Okay, so far we've seen a lipo cell get shot and punctured and submerged, no violent reactions. Um, a cell phone battery punctured and shot and submerged with no violent reactions. Um, so the only other option that I know of um, for a lithium battery is an 18650. These are used um, in e-cigs, uh, laptop battery um, packs, even drill batteries. This one is actually one that came out of a Ryobi drill battery. Inside of here, there's just, I want to say there were five 18650s hooked up in series to give me the 18 volts. Um, so, <laughs> it's kind of a small target from me to try to hit with the bow, so we're probably just going to shoot this with the 22 um, and see what happens with this one. We'll probably drop it in the water just like we did the others to see what happens. Um, hopefully we'll get something violent out of this. I mean, the media kind of made the Samsung batteries out to seem like they were bombs waiting to go off in your pocket, and for a while I know that there were um, a lot of news stories about uh, e-cigs exploding, the, ba the batteries in them exploding in your pocket, so um, let's see if these are as evil as the world seems to make them out to be. Okay, I got three of them set up over there. See if any of them will give us a good reaction. Well, that one's stuck. <laughs> oh man, I blew that one all to hell. So this one was charged. This one was completely dead. Wouldn't show any voltage at all. It doesn't look like either one of them is giving me a. Uh, reaction of any kind actually you know no a little heat on that one no heat on this one so a little heat but no no smoke and the other, the third one flew away way over here ooh that one is very hot very, very hot. We need some tongs to grab that one. Looks like this one even caught the bullet. So, there's definitely some lead in there to react with the lithium. I don't know if lead and lithium react. But, it's been about 10 minutes now and nothing. It's still really hot, but it's not smoking, it's not flaming on. Nothing. Well, there you go. A little bit of heat, a little bit of smoke. Nothing big. Guess uh, these things aren't nearly as dangerous as we thought. So. Don't worry about your e cig blowing up in your pocket. Don't worry about your cell phone blowing up in your pocket. Don't worry about your remote control cars or anything that uses a lipo blowing up. Because I've tried real hard to mess these things up and 
The most I've gotten was a little bit of smoke and a little bit of stink. One cool thing though, these 18650s, I do get a little bit of reaction out of the water. But nothing, nothing real fun. If y'all have any suggestions on some more stuff I could shoot with the bow, let me know down in the comments and I'll see if I can make it happen. Thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next video.